Hi there students. Poles apart. This is an adjective or an adjectival phrase. If two things are poles apart, they are very different. They're the complete opposite to each other. So the two brothers are poles apart in the way they look. One is tall and dark and the other one is short and blonde. They're poles apart. They are radically different. Um, the, their political opinions are poles apart. One is ex an extremist right winger and the other is an extremist le left winger. Um, the two countries are poles apart on the issue of free trade. Um, we look the same, but underneath we are poles apart. Um, the town that I live in and the capital city are poles apart. Their temperaments are poles apart. They're radically different. They're very, very different. Um, suspicion and knowledge are poles apart. You can suspect some, somebody of some something, but they are radically different. Okay, so if two things are poles apart, they are uh, very, very, very different. Um, the employ employers and the trade union are still poles apart and the strike will continue. We're nothing alike. We have nothing in common. We are poles apart. So we are disparate, dissimilar, different, un un unlike each other. We're worlds apart. We're completely opposite to each other. So poles apart. If you say two things are poles apart or two people are poles apart, they have different beliefs, different opinions, different qualities. They're at opposite extremes of the scale. Yeah, these two things are incompatible. They're widely separated. They have opposite natures. Their opinions are, at, are opposite extremes. They are not similar in any way. Their educations and backgrounds are po poles apart. Okay, so these two people are poles apart. They are uh, very, very, very different to each other. They are diametrically opposed to each other. They have absolutely nothing in common. So the two, si the two sisters um, uh, were, pole were poles apart, although they were still very good friends. So to be poles apart, two people that are very different from, from each other. Um, uh, the, the uh, menta mentalities that are poles apart. Okay, um, let's see. I think this pole, or the pole in poles, you've got the North Pole and the South Pole. Um, I think your pole, or the pole, is um, a line going through the axis, going through a rotational axis. And, and on the Earth, you have the North Pole and the South Pole. And if somebody's at the North Pole and someone else is, are, is at the South Pole, you are poles apart. You are as far apart as is possible. And, and this is the, I think, the idea of this poles apart is, is that things are very different, very different beliefs, very different ideas. Um, we, the, the negotiation is going to take a long time because the two sides are clearly poles apart. They wanted to tackle the issue together, but they are still poles apart on how to do it. Um, they it was it was impossible to sign the co a contract because the goals of both sides were poles apart um so in social and political terms two groups were poles apart they were worlds apart they were uh, it, they were li living in different places they were totally opposite they were not not similar at all so formality they are poles apart i think i'm going to give it a 4.5 or am i going to give it a five um they're poles apart i think i'm going to give it a five in formality it's an idiom but i think you could use this just about anywhere use it informally semi-formally and formally as well okay so yeah this is different from many other things but poles apart to be on opposite opposite sides of the earth to um be uh worlds apart to have completely different beliefs nature opinion quality things like that so 
If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you soon. Bye for now. Poles apart.